Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, Life After 50 with Terry. I'm Terry. Um, so my last dating video, we kind of beat up on the guys that weren't showing signs or that were showing signs that they weren't ready to date. So I think it's only fair that we talk about what are some signs that you can look for that will tell you he is ready to date. So we want to talk about the positive, we want to talk about the negatives, we want to talk about all of it. So today, these are the things that he will show you, that he will say to you, to let you know he's ready to date. So let's get into it. All right, so here's one trait or one thing, is that he listens to you. He listens to you when you're having conversations, he asks follow-up questions, He's genuinely interested in what you have to say. And I have to tell you, that is so important. It's so important. If you're going to have a conversation, have a conversation. You don't want to just sit down with somebody who's just talking at you. So that's one sign. If he's paying attention, he's listening to you, then I would say that's a positive. All right, so the next one is he involves you in his plans. Now, I find that men who do this early on, when you're getting to know them, that's usually a very positive sign. You know, um, I remember a guy, we've probably been talking about maybe three weeks, I don't even think it was a month, but he got invited to go see a game on base. Um, he was in the army. And I think they were like doing flag football or something like that. And he was like, yeah, you know, there's a game going on. Would you like to go? And I'm not really into football like that and so, I think it was kind of cold too. This is back when I lived in Alaska. So I declined, you know, I, I said I wasn't interested in going. But just the fact that he extended the invitation to me, and I'm pretty sure I had communicated to him I wasn't that much into sports to begin with. But out of consideration, you know, maybe I wanted us to go and do something else. Um, he extended me the invitation. So I would say definitely, especially if he's doing that early on, that's a really great sign. All right, so this next one here, he is willing to compromise. So I will have to say compromise is huge in a relationship. And if he's willing to do that when you guys are just getting to know each other, I mean, I know it depends on what the situation is as to whether or not someone might be comfortable compromising. I'm trying to come up with a good example of a situation where a guy that I was getting to know, um, compromise oh, I don't have a good example yeah but you know it's a give and take um, you don't want to get involved with someone who has an absolute hard stop on everything you know it's like their way or no way so if he's showing you that he is willing to compromise and I would say you want us to reciprocate that as well then that is another good sign okay this next one here is he makes time for you he makes time for you. He may have a busy day, you know, and if the two of you aren't living together, he call, well, he'll text you to say, hey, good morning, how are you doing? Or, you know, in the afternoon, he might say, well, how is your day going? And then he'll give you a call, you know, and you guys can have a nice little conversation, not long, but then he's like, okay, well, I really want to see you. And it's been a busy week. It doesn't matter though. I just want to talk to you. I just want to see you. I want to see you face to face, right? And so the fact that he's making time for you, even though it's been a crazy week or a crazy day, I would say it's a really good sign. Oh, here's one. He wants you to meet his tribe, meaning he wants you to meet his friends and or family. And I would say what that means is that he has a really good feeling about you. He trusts that he's making a good choice in you. And he may be wanting to introduce you to his tribe just so that they can kind of get a feel for the type of person that you are to see if they think you're a good match. Or it could just be because he's really proud and he wants to show you off. But I would say a man that wants to introduce you to his friends and family, co-workers even, but more so friends and family, that's a really good sign. Oh, this next one here, I can't stress enough how important this is. He keeps his word and his commitments. So he's the kind of guy that his actions follow his words. You know, he's not just a bunch of lip service. He's not just talking up, you know, saying all these really great things, but he's not backing it up. He keeps his word and he keeps his commitments. And if for some reason he's not able to honor his commitments, he will let you know and he will make arrangements to reschedule. So I would definitely say, to me, that really is a sign of integrity when a man 
or anyone for that matter, but we're talking about dating, when a man keeps his word and his commitments. Oh, here's another good one. He's polite. And I would say you definitely want a man who is polite to you, but I'd also say you want a man who is polite to other people, other people that he knows and people that he does not know. Um, I remember a guy who was just the sweetest. So we went to this restaurant. He held the door open for me and he must have held the door open for like six other people that were coming in behind us. But he was just a real sweetheart, very selfless. Um, if it was an older woman, he would say, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. Just a real sweetheart, very polite, very kind. Um, so I would definitely say if he's polite to you and everyone else, that's a great sign. I like this one a lot too. He's affectionate. He's affectionate. And what I mean by that is not in a gropey way or anything like that, right? But let's say when the two of you meet up, he gives you a hug, you know, maybe a little peck or whatever, you know, and he just expresses his like for you and enjoyment for you in a physical way. And he does it, if you guys are out in public, he does it in a respectful way. You know, I think that is huge. I don't know, some women are not affectionate or into affection, but for me, that is a big deal. So I would definitely say if he's an affectionate guy, especially if he's doing it in a respectful manner, then he's ready to date. All right, this next one, he's emotionally mature. Oh gosh, <laughs> dating a grown up, there's nothing like it. Dating a grown man who is emotionally mature. I tell you what, um, I am really attracted to a man who is able to look at a situation for what it is and be logical and solutions based. That is hot. I'm telling you, that is hot. He's not dwelling on you know, the issues, the issue at hand, you know, he's trying to come up with a plan. He's like, okay, this is what's going on. Let's resolve that. He's not getting all emotional. In the last video I was talking about, you know, I don't have the capacity to babysit a grown man's emotions. And so with the emotional, with the emotionally mature man, you don't even have to worry about that. If anything, you have to monitor yourself and you're like, wait a minute, am I emotionally mature you know am I the one bringing the drama because you definitely don't want to be bringing the drama especially with a man who is emotionally mature so that is a, another really good sign oh and this is another good one he communicates effectively you know he is able to convey his thoughts his ideas his suggestions even his dislikes, he's able to communicate them effectively. You can have a conversation with him. And even if the two of you disagree, he doesn't get upset that you have a difference of opinion. And he's able to make decisions and communicate what those decisions are. To me, I mean, all of these things that I'm talking about is like a man that's a leader. You know, he's a real leader. And so communicating effectively, because we know communication is a big deal in relationships, is very important, it's huge. So a man that can communicate effectively, he's ready to date. All right, so here's another one. He is not seeing other people. That's important. And like I said in the last one, I think there's a little bit of a timetable that happens with that. Um, but I would say usually with a man, who is not seeing other people, he gets to that point pretty quick, right? If he likes you, if there's chemistry, if he's into you, then he is going to cut off those other women. Maybe not completely cut them off, but he's definitely going to manage them differently so that they know, oh wow, he's serious about this other person, right? You know, and he's wanting to put all his focus and attention on you without all those other distractions. So if he stops talking to other women, then you definitely know that he's ready to date and he's probably ready to date you. All right, and so here is the last one. It's the opposite of the last one in the last video I made, is that he tells you he is ready to date. Now, here's what I will have to say about that. When a man tells you he's not ready to date, he's not ready to date. However, there are some instances where a man might tell you he's ready to date, and when I say date, I mean being a serious, committed relationship. He might say he's ready for that, but then his actions may not line up with that. So you really wanna make sure that if he's telling you he's ready to date, that 
a lot of these other things that I just mentioned are happening. You know, you're witnessing that. Everything is lining up. He's telling you he's ready to date and he's showing you that he's ready to date. All right, y'all. So that is all I have for you today. Um, you know, I wanted to make sure that I followed up the negative with positives. I'd be interested to hear from you all. Which one of those are hard requirements for you? I'd be interested to know. And I would like to hear from the men too, because like I said, you know, I'm talking about from a heterosexual female perspective, but I'm pretty sure that men probably have some of those same qualities that they're looking for in someone to know if they're ready to date. So I'd love to hear from you. I'm gonna go ahead and sign off for now. Thank you for watching. Please comment, like the video. If you're not subscribed yet, what I want you to do, subscribe, join the tribe. Subscribe, join the tribe. Hey, subscribe, join the tribe. All right, I'll see you later. Bye.